Chords in the center of a circle have a special relationship. But back up, what's a chord? Let's refresh our memory. Well, a chord is a line segment whose endpoints are on the circle. If I found the perpendicular bisector of this chord, so if I took my compass and I swung arcs from both ends of that, and I found the line that bisected this chord into two congruent pieces at a 90 degree angle, so let's say I drew that in. So this dotted line is my perpendicular bisector of that chord. And no matter where I draw a chord on this circle, if I find its perpendicular bisector, it will always pass through the center of the circle. So that's the first key thing about a chord and its relationship with the center of a circle. Let's talk about two congruent chords. So this is kind of a converse of what we just talked about. If I found the perpendicular bisector of these chords, so if I measured the perpendicular distance from the chord to the center, so I'm going to draw a solid line here. So this is the perpendicular distance because we said the shortest distance between two points is along the perpendicular. If these chords are congruent, they will be the same distance away from the center of the circle. So if I were to draw in two other chords, and if I told you that these chords are congruent, then their distance from the center of that circle, measured along a perpendicular, will be congruent. So using these two keys about chords and the relationship with the center will help us solve a lot of problems.